Man, it looked like it's really finna go down, y'all. Adrian, the problem, Brona, the can, man. And Roly, sign up for KOs, Rolando Romero. We gonna talk about it, but before we do, make sure that y'all hit my like button and sub to the channel if you are not already subscribed to the channel. What's up, Witty? So, yeah, look like we might be getting the big one right here. You know, this is for the casuals. This is for the fans of AB. This is for the fans of Roly Romero. This is for boxing, y'all. You know, this gonna be hella entertaining. Now, recently, news came out to me from somebody that is very, very close to Rolando Romero and his whole team. And when I say very close, I mean someone very close to Roly Romero. And I'm not gonna say his name because I don't know if he comfortable with me putting his name out. But this was really going down behind the scenes and this is real, y'all. Now, if y'all watched my live stream yesterday when the news was broken, y'all know who told me the information. But other than that, you know what I'm saying? If you wanna run back the live stream and find out where I got the information from, you can do that. Rolando Romero and Adrian Broner are behind the scenes, right? Their teams are working on the fight for pay-per-view for the end of this year. And uh, this is fireworks, y'all, because y'all can only imagine the build-up to this fight. You know, the shit talking that Rolando Romero and AB gonna be talking to each other. Man, this gonna be fire right here. Now, in the ring, it's gonna be fire also because I know one thing and I know one thing for sure is that Roley gonna bring it. Roley gonna bring it to AB and AB gonna have to fight. But Adrian Broner has been in the gym working and he is working with Kevin Cunningham. Yeah, y'all know we saw some of AB's best work back when he was working with Kevin Cunningham. So AB is back training with Kevin Cunningham. He is a no nonsense type of trainer. He not gonna let AB slack off, right? He not taking no for an answer because if you don't do what Kevin Cunningham say when you're in the Kevin Cunningham household camp, you gotta leave. So Kevin Cunningham gonna have a chef ready for AB so he don't have problems making weight like his last fight. He gonna have him training, making him let his hands go. And one thing I know about AB in this fight, he gonna be in tip top condition. And so that's great news for everybody that wanna see AB, you know, close to his best. Because the last time we seen the Adrian Broner in tip top condition, at his best, letting his hands go, you will probably have to go all the way back to the fight when he fought Jesse Vargas. And who was training him for that fight? Y'all remember, it was Kevin Cunningham. Remember, AB had to stay in the house and he was in the house with Tank and Erickson Lubin and they was putting in that work. So yeah, you know, everybody that want to see the can man, you finally might see it in this fight. But we know Roley is always in shape. We know Roley always let his hands go, right? Roley talk a lot of trash outside of the ring. He fights very awkward. He don't have the best of skills. But one thing about Roley, he's very ferocious and he's very strong and he's very awkward. But Adrian Broner, he gonna have a problem right off the rip figuring out Roley. But if AB can turn back the hands of time, I see this a fight that AB can win. But you know, that's a whole bunch of butts and if, and I got Roley in this fight. Yeah, I got Roley. And Roley has admitted that, you know, AB was his favorite fighter coming up. He loved AB. He got all the respect in the world for Adrian Broner. A lot of that respect gonna go out the window when both of these fighters get to talking that shit to each other. Y'all can only imagine the shit that they gonna talk, the build up, and if they promote this fight right, it's going to be pay-per-view worthy. Now, if you ask me on paper, should this be a pay-per-view fight? No, not on paper. But once these fighters get to talking and selling this fight, this fight can do very big numbers, y'all. You know what I'm saying? And this is a fight, like I said before, casuals going to want to see this fight. Die-hard boxing fans are going to want to see this fight once they get to opening their mouths 
and talking that shit back and forth to each other. Yeah, yeah, you know, uh, that retarded motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? That retarded motherfucker, Roly, he can't fuck with me. He can't see me. And then you're going to hear Roly, ha, A.B., Adrian Brunner, you know, ha, look at him. Look at his fat stomach. Look at him out of shape. Look at him breathing. He sucks. He sucks. You know, they're going to get to talking a whole lot of shit, man. And like I said, if just for the build up to this fight in the press conferences alone, right? That's pay-per-view. Just to see the build up in the press conferences alone is pay-per-view. Hopefully they have like a Showtime fight camp and you know, they do it the right way if they are gonna be putting this on pay-per-view to promote it. But I ain't gonna lie, man, I'm excited about this fight. I was the first one, you know, a couple months ago that originally brought y'all this news that Roly Romero was calling for AB behind the scenes, that he wanted to fight AB. It looked like that they finna actually put this fight together, and that's just what they working on behind the scenes, man. AB, we haven't seen AB, you know, look in shape in a long time. Like I said, you could go back to AB's last fight, Giovanni Santiago. He looked pitiful in that fight, a fight that I thought he lost. Uh, before that, when he fought Manny Pacquiao, he didn't look good to me in the Manny Pacquiao fight at all. You know, he did let his hands go and he looked to survive in the Manny Pacquiao fight. You go to Rolando Romero, right? The last time we seen Roley was getting knocked out by Tank. And ever since then, people been wanting to see what Roly gonna come back looking like. Is he gonna let that knockout by Tank affect him? Or is he gonna come back better and learn from his mistakes and slow down, stop throwing all that wild shit, and really go in there and box like he showed he could do in the Javante Davis fight for a few rounds before he got knocked out. So yeah, Roly got a lot of potential. And like I said, man, Roly's very strong and he could hurt AB at any given time. So this is going to be a hell of a fight. And this is panning out to be a hell of a fight. If Adrian Broner come in there in shape, and then, you know, Roley come in there on his A game, man, this is going to be fireworks. And like I said, the build-up alone is pay-per-view worthy. And believe me, it could do big pay-per-view numbers. All they got to do is promote it right over there on Showtime. That's all they got to do is promote it right. Because with a name like A.B., and the name like Roly Romero with the new star power that he got after he didn't fault Tank and got knocked out. Hey, this going to do big numbers because the casuals know who both of these fighters is. All of the big stars, all of the rappers, the entertainers is going to come out to this event. It all depends on how they promote it and when they have it. And like I said, they looking to try to have this fight before the end of the year. If they can't get this on before the end of the year, look at the first part of next year. You know, early January, mid-January, sometime like that. But they definitely working on this fight behind the scenes. So when Roly is making videos telling y'all that he got something big, big coming up, that's what he's talking about. The can man, Adrian Brunner. And when Adrian Brunner didn't make weight for his last fight and he blamed it on mental health, he did come right back and tell y'all, hey, I'm still going to be fighting again. And I'm surprised that Al Heyman and them are still messing with A.B. That's what's really shocking me, that they're giving him another chance. And A.B. can't blow this chance because if he blow this chance, he might as well go ahead and retire because he ain't going to get another chance after this. But let me know what y'all think about this. Is this is something that y'all will pay to see? Do y'all want to see AB and Roly fight? Jump in the comments, drop a comment. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you're not already a sub to the channel. Y'all already know how I do. There you go talking that boxing again, and I'm gone.